Hello there, today I'm going to show you the complete details of this Miniware MSP30 hot plate. I have been using this hot plate for 6 months. It's a tiny powerful hot plate from Miniware. Now let's see the complete details of this beautiful MSP30 hot plate. The MHP30 comes in this beautiful box. As it shows, the MHP30 won the Red Dot Design Award in 2022. Inside the box, we got the hot plate, a USB cable, which is a silicon based heat resistant Type C to Type C type cable, and finally the manual. So, here is the tiny hot plate. It looks very good when it is compared to ugly traditional ones. The total height is only about 5.2 cm. On the top side we can see the hot plate. The heating plate is made of brass with a nano ceramic coating which gives smooth on surface and helps to even heating on surface. 30 in the MHP30 indicated the dimension of hot plates. That's the 30 by 30 mm square shape. On the front side there is a small OLED screen for displaying the temperature and other parameters. In the back side, there are two physical switches which is marked as A and B for controlling the hot plate. Also there we can see the USB socket. On the bottom side, there are two foldable legs for extra stability. We can separate the controller and the hot plate like this. You can see a RGB LED over here that automatically changes color with the rises and falls of the temperature. Now let's give power to MHP30. We need to use a proper 65W PD adapter for this. After giving power, you can see the Miniware logo. Then we can use the buttons for controlling. Pressing button A will heat up the hot plate and B will lead to the menu. To select a menu, long press on button A. For going back, press the both buttons simultaneously. We can set temperature, sleep time, volume, brightness, etc. We can press it three temperatures so we can easily select that for heating. It only takes 150 seconds to heat from 26 degree room temperature to 300 degree Celsius. Press and hold button A and insert the USB to enter the firmware updation mode. Now you can see the color change according to the temperature change. Now enjoy some soldering and desoldering. As I said earlier, I am using this for 6 months now. Honestly saying, this is very good for soldering and desoldering small PCBs. The only downside is the smaller size. But they released a new model with bigger plate. By the way, that's the topic for another video. You can find the link of this product from my video description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.